It's their signature race of the meeting map. The Pacific Classic has hosted a lot of good horses in its history. And uh, this year, it's got an interesting field. I think uh, I think the West Coast leader of the handicap division is in there. And uh, if he gets beat, maybe we'll come out of there. I'm talking about Accelerate. Uh, Pavel's coming off a big win at Churchill Downs. Not a great Pacific Classic by any means, but uh, one we need to talk about a little bit and Accelerate. The son of looking at Lucky is going through a unique triple in that he's already won the big cap uh, Santa Anita Handicap and the Gold Cup, formerly of Hollywood Park, now of Santa Anita. Now he goes for the Pacific Classic. Yeah, Brian, uh, everything seems to be pointing to uh, uh, accelerate here in the Pacific Classic, along with the resume that you just talked about, um, is the fact that accelerate loves Del Mar. He's got a fantastic record out there. Um, his running style, sitting, uh, you know, off the pace, stalking seems to fit really well in 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 the Pacific Classic. There's, uh, you know, there's enough speed in there to set up that move um, for accelerate. I, I will admit, Brian, I am a little bit concerned about the fact that accelerate hasn't run since May. It's getting close to three months. Um, he was originally going to run, uh, sooner than the Pacific classic. So, um, I don't know if there's a story to go with, to go with that, but it puts some question marks in my mind, but clearly accelerate is the horse to beat. Matt, I remember you saying the same thing last year about stellar win for the same connections, uh, John Sadler, Ron is racing. Eventually that caught up with stellar wind as she, uh, she failed late in the season in the Breeders' Cup, but up until then, she ran well. It seems to be their M.O. Uh, they're really good horses. They kind of spread out their racing. We'll see. I think he's strictly the one to beat in here. As you say, he's got a very good history at Del Mar. He seems to really love the main track at Del Mar. Uh, huge win in the San Diego last year, and then a, and a solid third in the Pacific Classic last year. A tougher Pacific Classic last year. Uh, now he faces a field that... Uh, it could have looked a little bit more interesting. There was some buzz. Maybe his stable mate, his lightly raced, impressive stable mate, Catalina Cruiser, would make it in after all. But uh, they decided to keep those two horses separate. And maybe even more interesting would have been the uh, the champion mare, Unique Bella. Jerry Hollendorfer threw it out there that she, uh, well, she was nominated for the race. So there was a shot that she would end up in the Pacific Classic. Neither showed up. I think that makes Pavel a clear second choice, Matt. We've, uh, we've known about Pavel since his maiden win. Uh, they threw him to the Wolves early in his career. He ran some very good races, had some bad luck, went on a losing streak. But last time at Churchill Downs, it was a muggy, muggy hot night at Churchill Downs. But in the Stephen Foster, he was much the best. He certainly was. Finally got a grade one win in there. Uh, um, certainly it was not the strongest grade one. It was not the kind of grade one... Uh, uh, quality that he had been running in earlier when uh, uh, he went on that losing streak. Uh, everything went his way in there, and Pavel, uh, Pavel looked really good in the uh, Stephen Foster for his victory. Again, uh, for me, I still have question marks about Pavel, and, and that certainly has to do with the quality of the field. Like you said, Brian, this isn't the strongest Pacific Classic in here, but there is accelerate in the race and, and, and Pavel has yet to beat a kind of horse of accelerates quality. And maybe Pavel's turned the, turned the corner and, and we're ready to see the best from him. But for me, um, in the Pacific classic, the top two favorites, um, have some, uh, uh, serious question marks. Fair enough. Uh, maybe, maybe there's a long shot in there for you, Matt. Uh, for me, Accelerate is the one to beat, uh, and, and, and Pavel, yeah, there, there, there's a chance that maybe he has finally uh, put it all together. Like I said, he was thrown uh, into some very deep waters early in his career, and, and he struggled just a little bit. But now, uh, coming off the great win, win at Churchill Downs, maybe that confidence builder uh, builds as he gets back to California for the Pacific Classic, another try. At accelerate. Those are the top two favorites, Matt. I'm going to throw in a, a horse I think who could uh, rally up into the picture because I think the lieutenant, I like his last two races. 
he's a rallying type. And I think a mile and a quarter, uh, the son of street sense getting better should like the distance. There's uh, a reasonable amount of speed in here. So I, I think the Lieutenant uh, might run a very good race to get into the picture, maybe double digit odds. And then we need to mention the Baffert import, the South American horse who I fully expect to be the third choice in here, Roman, uh, Roman Rosso. Bob Baffert brings him in in his first race in America, uh, although a group one winner in two countries, Argentina, and then he, uh, he went over to Uruguay to win a group one as well. Ah, those group ones in Uruguay, you have to watch out for them, Brian. But uh, um, I, I'm agreeing with you here, Brian. Um, my pick in the Pacific Classic is the lieutenant. Uh, I'm going to take a shot in here. I think the odds are there. Trainer Mike McCarthy knows how to get a horse ready. Um, the lieutenant, we saw him run second to diversify uh, in the Suburban, which, uh, uh, you know, is, is a good entry in his resume. I think he's going to get a good setup again. Um, if Accelerate is at his best, I don't think he's going to get beat. But uh, hey, I'm going to take a shot with the lieutenant. Very good. Okay, so we're we're on the same. Uh, we're calling him a long shot. I, I don't know if he's eight to one or nine to one or ten to one, somewhere in that range. I I certainly see him as about the fifth choice in here. So should get some odds. I think Accelerate's the one to beat. So Accelerate over the lieutenant for me, Matt goes to the long shot with the lieutenant. We'll have to wait and see. Now, Uruguay, Matt, we laugh, but of course there was a horse uh, a little over a decade ago named Invisor who did pretty well coming from Uruguay. So you never know, although Roman Rosso is really an Argentinian horse at heart. 